dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories please endeavor to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The Conference of Igbo Professionals Worldwide has condemned the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its leader, Mazi Namdekano, over the formation of the acclaimed Eastern Security Network, claiming it is illegal. The group called on the leadership of the Southeast, including governors, Ohanez Ndigos, and other well meaning Igbos, to rise against the action and denounce the proscribed group wholeheartedly. While describing the Eastern Security Network as illegal, the group, in a statement by its national president, Professor Patrick Kalu, expressed fear that the military outfit may worsen the security situation of the Southeast, if not immediately stopped. The group said its decision to speak out against IPOP was reached at stakeholders meeting in Oka, Anambra State, where it also resolved to join the clamor for Igbo presidency in 2023 claiming that it was time for Nigeria to have a president of Igbo extraction. The group maintained that dialogue was the way to achieve it rather than Canute's barrel of gun approach. According to the group, Igbo people deserve the presidency. They have all it takes to produce the next president of Nigeria. And that is what we should be pushing for now, with one strong voice in unity and sincerity of purpose. We cannot be demanding for President of Nigeria on one hand, and on the other hand supporting IPOP, which is being fraudulently financed by Namdekano and his agents of destabilization and his agents of destabilization with the sole plan to destabilize a united Nigeria through cessation and a parallel security organization. Nobody will take us seriously if we do not take urgent steps to set the record straight by outrightly denouncing the inglorious activities of IPOP and its sponsors. We particularly call on the governors of the Southeast states and the Ohaneze Ndibu worldwide to rise up not only to condemn, but also to stop this brazen act of criminality, which may have a grave consequence on the entire Igbo nation if nothing is done urgently. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? From the look of things, there are a section of people who, from the look of things, seem to be leaders, elders in the Southeast that are against the Eastern Security Network, and one would wonder why they are against the group. Considering the challenges that has faced the country security-wise, considering, you know, the desire of the Southeast people to be protected from ills that has ravaged their land. One would have thought that Nambekano took a bold step in addressing this issue that the Southeast governors ha have allegedly abandoned or failed to attend to. But from the look of things, some elders, as it were, do not seem to be in support. Some elders or leaders, as it were, 
are kicking against Nandekano. And one would wonder why. Well, it is what it is. If they are saying that the Eastern Security Network is illegal, is the killing of the people in the Southeast also illegal? The activities of the headsmen in the Eastern, Southeastern communities, as it were, the maiming, the raping, and other drastic acts that have been committed by the Fulani headsmen, are those acts also illegal? Those who have died from the activities of the headsmen and the Fulani people, are their deaths also illegal? These are questions that, you know, some of these elders need to answer before we really understand their plight or understand what they are actually saying on this particular issue. But I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. The truth remains that the people of the Southeast, you know, have decided to take the bull by the horn. They have decided they would not wait for the Southeast leaders or governors as it were. Because the Southeast governors are not or do not seem ready to tackle this issue head on. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue as it were. The challenges of insecurity in the country has been massively enormous that anyone would reasonably uh, decide to find a solution instead of waiting for the solution of the government that has eluded the citizens over the years. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But however, with what is happening and what has been done, you cannot but commend that the group IPOP, you know, has done something noble. But the reason why a lot of people are kicking against the Eastern Security Network is because it came from the IPOP group. If it had come from other Southeast leaders, like probably the state governors or other persons, they probably wouldn't have received this massive attack that they've been receiving. But the truth means that the Eastern Security Network is timely, just like the Amoteku version in the Southwest. Well, it is what it is. We don't know what will happen and how this will pan out, but we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold at the end of the day. The Eastern Security Network has been declared illegal, saying that they deserve more. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I think the Eastern Security Network has come to stay. I don't know what will happen tomorrow or what, you know, opinions might change, but for the now, I think it is commendable that the Eastern Security Network are active and are uh, you know, doing their jobs. But it's what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Drop by at the comment section and let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.